Hey, how's it going guys? I just picked up this 1980 XLH Harley Ironhead Sportster. Actually from one of you YouTube viewers, so Joe from Chicago. Thanks a lot, man. Um, it's a pretty original bike. Um, it's been sitting since 2003. Um, he'd got a hold of me, sent me some pictures, asked if I was interested, and looked like a pretty clean bike, so I told him, yeah, you know, possibly we might be able to work something out. Um, he went ahead and cleaned the carburetor on it, put a new battery on it, fired it up and sent me some videos and uh, sounded pretty good so we made a deal. He uh, brought it here and uh, give you guys a look at it. So it's got almost 22,000 miles and just finding a bike that's still got a lot of this original stuff's kind of hard so that's the reason why I wanted it. I believe it's original paint, gas tank fenders, the oil tanks, um, been repainted, but I have one that's been painted black, not original paint, but check this out. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It even has the original AMF Harley Davidson keys. There's only, I've only had one other bike that I actually got with the original keys, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's got the mirrors switched out, turn signals in the back have been replaced. A little bit newer, same with the seat. I've got a new old stock seat that I'm going to put on there. thought this was pretty cool. Cooler if it focus right. It says Chicago Harley Davidson Barry Browns. That's always kind of cool when you find a bike that's got the tag from the city that it's came from. Got the dual disc caliper front end. Uh, the rims are pretty crusty, so they'll need cleaned up. Still got the oil cooler. Everything's numbers matching. This is actually the first iron head I've ever got that's got a actually still has the exhaust on it mufflers so it's pretty cool need to get a battery cover for this side but starts up runs uh, sounds good I'm gonna have to go through it the inside of the tanks kinda crusty and um, you know need to look everything over no brakes I took it for a ride yesterday and just say it runs too good to have no brakes at all, so <laughs> let's go ahead and see if, see if she'll fire up. I haven't tried starting it today. I just wheeled it out here. Turn the fuel on. Turn the choke on. Good there. Smooth running bike. Pretty quiet. There we go. I have to choke on a little bit still. I'm sure he said he rebuilt the carb. I've never had too good a luck with these old Kians. So 
I like to try to keep it as original as possible. Um, I probably I think it has the has electronic ignition on it, but it's the old Harley style. I'll probably swap out, put a Dyna S on it. Um, maybe go through that carb again. I do have the original air cleaner. It'd be kind of cool to put on, but gonna go through it, rebuild the master cylinders, brakes. I may put a Super E on it and a, a Dyna S ignition. It's usually what I have the best luck with. But all in all, uh, cool bike. I'm happy. He was happy with the deal. He actually drove five hours here to bring it to me. So Joe, once again, I appreciate it. Um, and there's a look at the bike. So you guys need any parts or anything for iron heads or shovel heads, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, uh, thanks for watching, guys.